Why do you believe the majority of children's books written about black figures are written by white women? Um, that's a very intentional move by the European. Dr. John Henry, Dr. John Henry Clark said one time, the function of education is to be a proper handler of power. It's no mistake that the white woman is the curator of information for children. I've personally seen, uh, there's a book on Kwanzaa, who's written by a white woman. A book on Kwanzaa written by it's no a white woman, children's bro. book, bro, on Kwanzaa, <laughs> written by a white woman. You've got, you got a children's book on Martin Luther King, written by a white woman. You have a children's book on Harry Tubman. I can accept. I can because those are like you know sanctioned yeah. heroes. I would listen, accept. I got to look up this Kwanzaa. I'm not saying I got to see it for myself. I, listen, that's a good opportunity. That's, crazy, bro. that's a good opportunity for you and the viewers Fine, that's to wild. go look that up. They are intentionally cultivating the information to be dispensed to our children in their way. They are diametrically opposed to people like me and others writing and composing content for children that is truly liberating for their minds. For if that was to happen, if you do have a bunch of these books on Malcolm and Garvey and um, all of the others, Queen and Zynga and so forth, you are going to create a mindset in black children that is of rebellion. Too fired up, you know? It's, it's, gonna, fire, it's gonna fire them up and also it paints, it show, it reveals who their, their adversary is. It reveals to them they don't have any friends. It really is just us, you know? And it'll make them want to take their problems into their own hands and to unite and to function independently of other groups. This is why you see most black boys develop these emotional responses to complex problems. If they can't solve the problem, they react emotionally. It's, it, it might be in the form of a temper tantrum, or it might be in the form of some type of outburst, or whatever it is, but that coddling nurtures and facilitates these emotional responses. All that does is create black men who exhibit those same emotional responses. You see what I'm saying? You can't be coddled. You can't take that, you talking about that Kylan energy and that feminine energy. And, and of course, it's got to always be a balance. But to somebody who's always been coddled, it's going to be hard for you to make it through medical school. It's going to be hard for you to make it through an engineering program. All the things that are necessary. For Resilience. Survival. Exactly. So, like I was saying earlier, a lot of that's by design. They can't put you or me in front of these boys to teach them the right way, to teach them how they have to be taught, to teach them from, a, from an African male's perspective. Because again, that's gonna create that resistance that they're trying to get away from. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was a real good point with the, uh, with the coddling and, and what that actually creates. You know what I'm saying? Because black boys, black boys are the most unique males on the planet. And the type of education that they have to have is unique. And until we realize that, we're going to keep having these same cycle of problems. All these things that we comment on and criticize today, they start at two, three, four years old and so forth. So, yeah, that was an excellent point. And I, I want to say, too, uh, listen to what you said, is that it's like a double, and I'm not attacking women, Faye, I'm not down in women i'm just saying mm. you need to balance and a lot of people not getting it but if you're being coddled at home by a woman mm. and you're not getting that balance from a strong male mm -hmm. then you're being coddled at school by a woman what will be the outcome it's the same thing <laughs> and non-productiveness you can't be you can't be productive to the capacity that the race needs you to be if you're only getting that one side of, side of the you thing, know what I'm know. saying? It's got to be balanced. And I got, you do need the feminine energy. You need that, but you got to have the masculine. It has to be black African male masculinity present as well. You know what I'm saying? Not just in sports. 
in the classroom, ex exhibiting in a different home. type. In the classroom. In the home. In the home. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Understand? If the only time you're getting disciplined is on the court, on the field, that's the only time you're going to look to do it. You're going to think that's the only time that it's necessary. You know what I'm saying? That's a great point, bro. But I can I can lift weights. Listen, you made a great point, you know, uh -huh. because um, I played sports. And I always wondered why people who excelled at sports couldn't transfer that skill set outside of sports. And for whatever reason, they didn't understand the same effort and commitment they put into sports had to be applied to other things for it to work on that level. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's like it, it doesn't transfer. Like they don't understand the amount of effort they put in that thing needs to be put in everything. Yeah. Like they just don't understand that concept. I played sports too. Yeah. And uh, uh, in high school, I did football. We had a white football coach. And uh, you taught discipline in the weight room, discipline on the field, discipline in the class to an extent that you just make a grade so that you can do this. This is the, you taught inadvertently, this is the type of discipline that supersedes that for your black self. You see what I'm saying? But it takes a different type of discipline in the classroom that we shy, we shy away from. You know what I'm saying? So now you get these boys who were athletes in high school because it's only a, you know, only a, only, uh, only a dot of an eye of them are going to the NFL or to the NBA. So the rest of these boys who graduate high school, if they graduate, they undisciplined in the areas that it counts. Nobody ever taught them. Nobody ever taught them how to sit down and read, attack this subject matter, how to, uh, how to study, how to study in groups, how to develop these different habits to strengthen your mind. Only thing you know how to strengthen is, only time you know to be disciplined is in the weight room, on the field, or on the court. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And that's reflective of a lot. That's reflective in a lot of the things that we see going on today. They're just not learning the skills and held accountable to develop those skills mm -hmm. and being around a man to provide. That's the next thing, too. I don't want to stretch out this argument, but a lot of times they don't see a male being disciplined in the areas we spoke about. Right. They only see males disciplined in other areas. Yeah. You know? My granddad, I just want to say this real quick because I'm just thinking, like, my granddaddy, he could make you cry yeah. teaching you math. You know what I'm saying? He could make you, he'd, you know, you'd be mad at him. But later on, you see this help. You know what I mean? It wasn't fun in the moment. And you detested him in the moment and thought of every ungodly name to call him in that moment. But he got me through it. And he helped me develop a thought pattern on how to attack subject matter. I treat, I keep hearing, I, I treat drinking water for a living. And to treat drinking water, you have to have a certification. Drink water is very important, very entail. One of the common things, and, and I work for, I work at a place that's predominantly black. One of the things they would tell us is, look, don't worry about the math on the test. Just make sure you get these questions because you're probably not going to get the math. And I'm like, really? So anyway, I go in there, but I knew my math. So when I came back with my test, they're like, they're like hey, you got almost all the math questions. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it wasn't that difficult. But you're talking about grown men who have completely abandoned the, the, the idea of attempting math. You know what I'm saying? Going back to it, that's why we don't have enough black engineers. That's why we don't have enough black biophysicists in all of these different areas. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.